what is love? I hope you guys, it gives you a better idea what is the meaning of love. So this leads us to the question, what is love? We touched on this briefly in a lesson on language and thought. When Susan described what our emotional feelings were termed, Remember, she was trying to tell Sophia that she was just anxious or nervous about flying when in fact Sophia's stomach was bothering her and she was becoming physically sick. And in that lesson, Susan asked, what is love and how do we describe it? One psychologist by the name of Sternberg developed the triangular theory of love. He had an idea that love was composed of three components. They are intimacy, passion, and commitment. And various combinations of these three components explain all forms of human love. So let's take a closer look at these in a little more detail. Intimacy refers to feeling close, connected, and bonded in your loving relationships. Next we have passion. Passion refers to the drive that leads to physical attraction, romance, and sexual experiences. And this is accompanied by the physiological changes in arousal. And finally, we have commitment. With commitment, we're talking about both the decision to love someone and the decision to commit to love for the long term. So for different types of love, these three different components are present, but they're present in different amounts. For example, with romantic love, we see high levels of intimacy and passion, but low levels of commitment. And here we see companionate love, which are high levels of intimacy and commitment, but low levels of passion. And here we see fatuous love, where there's high levels of commitment and passion, but low levels of intimacy. Now, if you were to just have passion and no intimacy or commitment, you'd see something like lust or infatuation. And if you just had intimacy, but no commitment or passion, it would just be liking someone. And if you just have commitment, but no intimacy and no passion, this would be empty love. Now, if all of these types of love were present in equal proportions, Sternberg would call this consummate love. So, as I said, any given relationship can have a combination of these three components. Some of your lifelong friends you're going to feel commitment with and intimacy, but not passion. Or your siblings and family members would be a mixture of intimacy and commitment. Whereas your romantic partners would be intimacy and passion. And for those who have all three in the same person, this would be a lifelong partner. For example, a husband or wife or life partner.